Yeah, but like, you know, in LA, the cops um, help to help an unsanctioned march by um, using their equipment to block the streets, even though the march is unpermitted and illegal. And in New York, the cops are being um, discharged because they're Have you been following this movement that's huge? Uh, Thousands of people in New York. 160 cities across the country. Hundreds of people in LA. This is huge. This is history. And you're on the wrong side of history. They want to make themselves by being the first ones. That's the name they want. Have you considered the 1970 police strike? You don't just blindly follow orders. That's been proven over and over in the military and law enforcement. You follow orders. That's what they swear in. You're supposed to uphold the Constitution. Uphold the Constitution. If the orders being passed down. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, as I introduced myself previously this evening, I'm Sergeant Harwood. I, I have, we have our jail van here. I want to, I implore you. I want to give you one more opportunity uh, to leave the park. Harwood. If you fail to abide by the municipal code, we will issue you citation, or at our discretion, we will arrest you, and we may take you to jail. Do you understand that? Okay. Ma'am, are you going to leave the park? Okay, guys, all I'm going to say, General Assembly, real quick, the people that want to stay, you feel you want to stay and you want to protect your First Amendment right, assemble over there with that man, America, Sherika. Everybody else, you can move if you want. Uh, or you can stay. I mean, first, the First Amendment right would mean getting a ticket. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back. Yeah. 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 I just don't want to go. We love you, Annie. We love you, Annie. We love you, Annie. Yeah, it hasn't gotten to that point yet, but they will. Yeah, it went like this. You're gonna get to 